Hi guys, my name is Nizaf Kanadil and I'm your instructor of 3ds Max, 3D modeling and basic animation. Today's lecture is about basic tools of 3ds Max. In this tutorial, we'll just be taking a look at the part of the environment of 3ds Max. After this video, we will be able to use the basic tool of 3ds Max. So, this is the main space of this application. When you first open the 3ds Max, it can look a little daunting with dozens of buttons and tabs, screen and panels, but don't worry about it, just follow along and we'll just get started on figuring out just what's what. Okay, for this lesson, we have here the menu, main menu toolbar. If you want to open or save the file, just go to the file icon, click it, and if you have the file menu, you can reset the file. You can you just uh, open the document. You can save the document. You can import and export the scene or object. And next toolbar is the main toolbar of the application. Uh, from here, you can select and move the object. You can rotate the object or change the size of the object. The third one is graphite modeling toolbar, which has polygon modeling, which is so much important and for the for shaping the object and we have working space here with different viewports like front, top, left and perspective. On the along the right side of the screen we have command panel. It has so much option and uh, it has basic objects like standard primitive shape light panels, modified panels and if you go down we have animation bar we have timeline we have auto key to add some keys or keyframe on the timeline or you can play from a uh, play animation from here this is navigation toolbar you can maximize or minimize the tool uh, viewport selected viewport you can rotate from orbit, you can rotate the uh, viewport from the orbit. Next is to adding some object on the screen. Just click on the click on any object. I'm selecting box and dragging on the screen. And here we have the box. As you can see here, we have different viewports and these reports are showing the all side of the object and from here you can move the object with different coordinates and different axis like up down and Y F you can rotate the object from, di from different axis Scale the object. And if you want to change the values of the object, go to the modify panel. And here we have the parameters of the object. You can change the length from here, width from here, height, and add some segments to the object. Now we have segment here in the object. And second one, we have different more objects. Uh, just drop down the uh, tab and select the extended parameter. And we have here different more objects like Hedra with different parameters. I'm making a error and I'm just clicking on the modify panel and here we have different options and here we have family, cube, octa, zodiac, icos, star one, star two and you can change the time parameters from here. I will change shape.
Now if you want to add some 2D lines, you go to the shape and we have here 2D lines kind of. 2D shapes like rectangle, circle, ellipse, arc, donut. I'm going to add some light lines, reflecting lines, and dragging on the viewport. Now I'm creating a light. And next we have rectangle, circle, ellipse, arc, donut, and gone, and, and much more. And you can add text too. So click on the report. Now we have text here. Go to the modify panel and write the text in the panel and you can turn the font and you can add modifier to the 2D shape go to the modifier list and I'm going to add food modifier now we have surface and increase the amount of the student now we have height Look at that. Next step, I'm going to add some lights in the scene. Select the light. Go to the stand standard light and select the Omni. Click on the report. And now we have a light in the report. So, guys, this is it. These are the basic uh, tools of the CBF Max. Hope you enjoyed it.